Anyway, what's happening in town here? Let's see if I can get everybody a little nauseous trying to navigate these controls in a in a fine-tuned method that looks so sophisticated. There we are. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to oh, kind of our winter wonderland of Handy Shire. Boy, everything changed just as I started speaking. It's kind of odd. I saw, oh, I thought I hit pause there. I saw snow on all the trees and all the buildings, but the ground was green. It's like it was right in between the transition. Anyway, I see we have an invasion coming in. I wanted to check something before we got going here. I made a comment that I didn't quite understand something and it turns out it's because I wasn't reading it all. I've seen Grandmaster Grandmaster. I'm kind of tunnel vision in right here and something about a big burp. <laughs> I didn't see this at all. So it isn't a Grandmaster Grandmaster or an apprentice Grandmaster or a journeyman master. It's a stone cutting John who has bad teeth is a journeyman and as far as agriculture he's a master. So that's the part that I didn't see last time. So Michael and Rob BC were bringing these up to me in the, in the comments last time. So thanks much. Straightened me out. Otherwise, invasion coming in. And this episode, I'm kind of going, looking down at my list here. I wanted to check this guy out, but I don't think he's built yet. Now he's still got uh, three more uh, lumber or timbers or whatever planks we want to call those coming in. Uh, I want to see if it makes a difference to very carefully select your footprint versus just dropping it anywhere. This has more trees. Are we going to get more production out of it? It'd be nice to be rewarded for trying harder, getting just the perfect spot for each building. But we'll see if that is a thing. Otherwise, I've got a list of things I want to tackle today, but let's go play with some Vikings. One still one so we're just on that edge of not we're, we're, we're kind of important but not really so just sending one ship at us so far let's speed this up a little bit and see what we're going to be able to do with these guys i wonder if i click on no if i say view ah now we can follow them in lightning's already doing the job of our, our torch bearers here but we've got more towers than we've ever had before Let's see what they can do. Now, if they never get around to actually picking up a... Aha! They never picked up one of our townsfolk. Hey, hey, hey wait! 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 <laughs> so... What is that going to do to our happiness? Now, it's still going to cause thir negative 35 trauma for recent Viking attack. Even though they never picked up one of our little dudes and carried him off this time, the fact that they're getting to the town at all apparently is it. Anyway, we are now a small village. We're at year 50. We are Handyshire. And we are a two forester village now, aren't we? No, output of 16. Base output 16 versus base output 16. I wonder if there are any modifiers. Tools? Eh, we'll have to find out if tools has anything to do with it. Fully staffed could have something to do with it, too. No, there's your 1 of 2 and 8 of 16. All right, that takes care of that. I wonder if tools affects this. We'll get into that soon. We do have a fire over here. And this area wasn't covered very well with wells. If I recall, we were right on the edge. So let's take care of that first. Yeah. So if I move away, you see the blue kind of dies out right in this area. I'm thinking right there there would be a good well because right here I'm thinking I want to put in an iron mine at some point so we'll drop this in right here got lots of flame producing things right there and that's got to be a source of of uh, accidental fires at least that's what makes sense to me food we ended last time wanting to tear down these two hovels and put in two cottages that's the word food Oh, we need a market, that's why. They're bringing their food in right now. 
it'll be satisfied but the market would definitely help things here but food i was a little worried about maybe i have no reason to worry this guy's full so they're walking all the way over here now but still we're peeking into that 200 range i wanted to put these guys in but i was worried that we were going to start tipping down on our food too much if we did that let's go ahead and get the extra manpower and then think about another farm system i'm thinking right here since they seem to be doing all their work in a single patch that popped up and i saw them working on this one at one time they're working on this one so maybe they are kind of roaming another one just popped up there now they're working on this one okay well i'll uh i'll chop it down anyway <laughs> it's not in the sphere anyway so that's fine take this one out we've got a three by three here with two dark greens in it so that's going to be a pretty good farming area so we want to get into that we're going to chop it to get ahead of the the curve there but let's take this guy out demolish five people are going to be without houses we're going to immediately put in a cottage right there and we're going to tell hmm these guys yeah to go work on that cottage first then come back and give us a uh, give us some more stones stones 240 actually 240 is a lot for where we are right now we're not building walls yet so let's close you more permanently just have run, one running right there wow camera does move really fast in this game. I'm sure when you're using the WASD. Waiting for the first fire. There needs to be a fire siren of some kind going off when there's a fire in the, in the village. I'm running at two speed. That's why it seems to be going so fast. Okay, we'll do that. So I like watching like watching the show rather than speeding through the show. I don't have a goal to get done in a certain number of episodes or to get a specific bunch of things that have to be accomplished this episode. So I've got the freedom to just kind of roam around and watch. That's the fun of playing a game like this. We're mostly built here. Probably, whoa. I would have thought a lot less wood they'd be waiting for. Only one of four citizens working. Hmm. Okay. Then we will... In zero of four. We just need more people. We just flat out need more people. So, this is happening. Lumber is not in the best of shape, but let's go ahead and take... There we are. This guy down. Which means he's going to move over to here. So we'll go ahead and take that one down too. To make sure that we get this guy with bad teeth. Now this cottage uh, employed. And it looks like it is. So we'll open these two back up again. Soon we're going to have lots of employees to uh, to run all of them. All right, we've got some advisors that all have something to tell hmm. us. It took a long time to store a harvest. Some of it has ruined by the winter. Hmm, don't want any ruined foods. Hmm. Good day, sire. Hmm. And same at you. Okay. There we are. Sometimes it takes a right click to get rid of something. Sometimes it takes a left click to get rid of something. It doesn't feel consistent. What are you? We're out of gold. That's a new symbol. We need gold. Tax rate too. Which is going to make people not very happy. Alright, so... This needs to be taken down. We have nobody to do it. Otherwise, our extra house is in. Our cottage. What is the next priority? Next one down? I kind of think so. Let's get plenty of workers available. Then we'll get the market going. Then we'll get a batch of food going. I think still plenty in time before we get in trouble. So let's take you out. We got our housing all situated there. In fact, they can move right in. Great. So nobody's out of work. Out of, uh, out of a home. You're going right there. Okay. Um, anybody to unemploy? Yes. Let's... Well, only one there. And probably one here and two here. Where are you? Right there. There you are. Alright. There's four. 
Did you guys all come over to work here? Three of you did. Fourth one's thinking about it. Okay, well, we'll call that good. Turn you back on. You back on. And since we are hopefully going to get quite a few extra people working soon, we'll make sure to get you back on. All right, more people. No, no. Gold is coming in, and they're paying for the troops. Troops are starting to come back in. Great. So they're all staffed. We've got someone tell us, telling us around mm. gold, right? You're back to the harvest, mm. and they think I'm an excellent ruler. Just give me some time. <laughs> there are so many things that can go wrong here. All right, food is still floating above the 200 range. I am impressed. So I think the next project, because you are about done, you're going to get there. Though only 70 wood at the moment. Um, 60 out of 60, we're going to have 12 more coming. Two people filled in those last two slots there. So we've got a market to put in. I think it's time for that. We're going to have some pretty serious charcoal production. we got 25 stored. It could be because I have three charcoal makers happening at the same time. Oops, we need to adjust this. No charcoal. You're just going to be wood. You are just going to be charcoal. There we go. So that we're dumping off the, the wood, burning it, dumping off the charcoal. Okay. Um, normally charcoal is absorbed into the houses fast. Four or five... Five of five. Whoa, I may be wrong here. Five of five. Three charcoal makers, two actually working charcoal makers, now is enough to handle six cottages. That's impressive. Normally, it doesn't work that well. 23 gold. We must just be out of manpower. Let's get the manpower into the towers. I think that's pretty important. Let's get one to hit that demolish. It's so prominent. You hit it, it's instantaneous. You are out of work. Out of out of a building, just like that. Okay, towers are filled. Seventy-two beds available, sixty-five now in town, which means all these jobs are gonna start getting uh, filled and they've taken out our tree over here. So let's go ahead and get this going. Oh, do we do it all? I think we do. We do these guys. We drop in a... Let's take this guy out right here. And I'm thinking a road through there. Let's chop down this group as well. I'm thinking a granary in this area. Maybe right there. With our, our farm right here. So what's underneath these? Looks like good green right there and barren right there. Barren, yeah. Very fertile. So we cannot grab that group instead. Unless we just... Oh, I'm trying to think of the math here. If we just skipped a corner to gain the three. We get a plus two, plus two, plus two. That's six, and it's a base of six. That's a wash. So it doesn't necessarily help. Plus you lose the other benefits above and beyond that plus 6. All the way up to 14. So now it's best to skip the barons completely. And even if we're just going to get the light green, it still comes out ahead. So let's town... Nope, food. And... Well, we'll grab what is available at the moment. These four. Right? Right, that's our square. So we'll do those for the moment. These just went down. Let's go ahead and road through there. Tap, tap, tap. Come on. There we go. One more? Not yet. Then a market goes where? I had thought over in this area. I'm thinking right in here. Except we want that large granary in this area. So, once the snow goes away, let's talk to our advisor while we're waiting. City advisor says, mm -hmm. Your kingdom was happy and content. Perhaps we should raise taxes. Nope, I'm already uh, pushing here. Why are you guys so happy? 
charcoal made that much difference, huh? Interesting. It just keeps bouncing on me like my mouse roller is right in between settings. Anyway, house, charcoal, six of five. We have more than enough charcoal, and that is really exciting to them. All right, um, pause. I don't want any more snow right now. So, big granary is going to go in there. Market, I think, is a two by two as well. Road comes through, hits, shoots across, and plunges through. Okay, I can see that. Let's go ahead and make that happen. Big one, right there. And that looks like a front door over there. And the food's all coming from this direction. Though if I went there, I could run a road right in front of it. Well, what would you do in the rest of the space there, though? Can't put housing in. Don't need a well. Don't need a, a, a tower. What other single-spaced objects would work there? We already have our single or double. We already have the uh, town, the tavern. Here. Nothing else from here needs to go there. Castle? No. Orchard. Nope. Industry. A random stockpile is a possibility. Otherwise, that's it. So it's kind of a waste of space if we don't use it. Tell you what, we'll road down here and we'll turn it to face down this way. How does that sound? I think I like that better. So back to food. This guy facing this way. Right there. Like so, let's go ahead and town road across the bottom of that and down into this. Alright, they're not necessarily going to connect. and That's not an issue that they don't connect. They're going to walk a little slower in two squares and they're going to take off like lightning again. So, we don't have to make everything connect. Um, what else were we talking about here? The, the food market requires 25 wood. Okay, let's get this, get this show going again. Need more wood. Between the two, tell you what, let's shut this guy down. Just have the two running instead of the three. Between, I was going to say the two, I don't think the third one have been running that long. We are eating through our wood quite fast. So this guy may or may not be enough to cover all that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, 71 people. Great. Everybody's employed. Plenty of gold. Don't need to throw a festival. Our, our happiness is great. And it's not like we're trying to fill beds right now anyway. So that's fine. Just wondering if I want to take the taxes back down. But we seem to be maintaining the 80s now. So I'm going to leave the taxes up here and build up a little bit of a, of a cushion. So, market. <clears throat> what is the plan? It may take one market per side. That is a possibility. I was thinking about a market over here to supply both. But maybe that is not uh, realistic. I know in Vapa's series he was having problems with markets, but that was back in Alpha. And I get the sense in Beta there was a, uh, a little bit of work done with the food um, chain in general, which the market would fall under. So, while we're waiting for the snow to go away, let's grab that market and kind of stare at things could go here we want it fairly close to the granary which this would be I'm kind of thinking I want to space away from the uh, the castle over here just to make it look better I think it's a good spot to supply this we may have two of them side by side and they can grab from whichever they want, and there's twice the supplies waiting there. You got good access to the charcoal, good access to the food, and two sources. Actually, three. There's a source right there. This works. That works. You're going there. Now, I do want a greenery near here. I do want to do that. And I see I'm going to need a road shooting through to get access to the other side of this, this farm uh, complex here. So... 
these two spots here are probably it. Is there anything I'm not thinking about here? You need that tree. Okay. A small one there. This guy grabs from them. He's got a longer walk to get into here. So really it's for the convenience of the farms, not the convenience of the town. If we go over here with it, what have we got? What is going to happen in this little area? And what was that noise? Kind of the sound of something breaking, right? Well, it sounded like something was being placed, but I didn't place it. Did something just burn down and I didn't know it? Oh, I must have touched the side somewhere. Huh. I don't know. Oh, right there. Okay, well, the ball should put you back in. And then we're going to take a look at wells. Well coverage. Town. Yeah, no well coverage over here. Where do you go? Right there, though. Let me get this out of here. Must be just out of the range. Okay. That only barely puts you in the range. Well, I'll tell you what. No. I don't think I want to touch any of this area. Let's get a road shot through here. Town. Roads. Okay, town, well, what I'm thinking of is right here. I'll cover this area well, with a well, and uh, won't disturb what I want to place in this area. And that's right, we've got the two markets going in here. Market requires five workers, I believe. Wow, we are all on fire over here. Let's take another peek at our wells over here. And we're only barely kind of not covered over there. Okay, you're going in there. All right, are we done burning down now? C can we stop? Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I think I was discussing a granary for these guys. What is the plan? Um, at the same time, I've got so many thoughts running through my mind. If I sit here and stare at it, it's because there are little wheels turning. I'm thinking if we're going to put these in and put a, a granary here or here, can I also place it where there's going to be another orchard so they can both take advantage of it? I'm seeing barren underneath there, barren underneath there. So we don't have a space here, and that's all taken, and now it's invisible. Mm-hmm. So, I am thinking that we are right here. Let's just do it. Food. You go right... Right there. We'll leave the two dark green ones in that place, just in case we decide to use it. Alright, so year 59, still a small village, 72 beds. Food, 200 out of 700. Take it, uh, this guy popped. He did. Three out of 450 is being stored there. Market is going in. Uh, no idle people because they're acting as constructors right now. Plenty of stone still. I think I will shut this down completely. And of course, forget all about it until I desperately need it. But let's use the people for other things. Get the well done. Defenses. Is it time to start thinking more about defenses? Hmm. Eventually I'm going to want an outer ring of some kind of more archers getting to the outside, or, you know, right around the outside of this, uh, of this ring right in here. And I want to get ballistas in. Just wondering what is first. I don't know what, what magic number or combination the first of the ogres appear. We could have lots of time. Ah, they're waiting for the next plague. 
the plague workers or if I could be about to trigger that with my next cottage which well we're a little low there let's go ahead and finish this area right here get more food coming and then we'll get back to talking about the next steps so let's take out that tree probably gonna have to get well into here that well may have to leave let's take all these out and food farm we'll get at least that one food windmill we'll put in that one insufficient resources for a second one what are we low on low on lumber okay so we'll take these out don't see why we can't take these out too that it that's it so we'll clean this area up do we put in one more forester and if so where and why kind of like in this little run right here uh, barren underneath so we're not gonna farm in that area we already established that before we could you can see we're very easily overwhelming what we need in stone right now be nice to be in that situation with wood as well I think so I'm just thinking about what's what else here do we want road access to them where how are we gonna squeeze in another stockpile is this the best spot it kind of looks like it is let's do it industry forester too far away from roads ah which is a line right in here so I need to pop a road this direction which apparently well do I just run the perimeter here Nah, I'm not going to grow anything in that space. I may as well just use it. So we'll let them take that out. Then we'll pop a road all the way to there, which should give us access to a good part of this. I don't know if I just get the Forester into the access, if his full sphere still works, or only the part that is also within the road access. That we'll have to experiment with. Anyway, what's happening in town here? Let's see if I can... Get everybody a little nauseous trying to navigate these controls in a in a fine-tuned method that looks so sophisticated. There we are. <laughs> so I like the way they carry their their big bundles. It's really fun to watch them. Let me sneak out over here through the buildings and find that orchard. There we are. Well, that was good. Watch them hauling the uh, the apples out. It's even more fun least watching Vapa's uh, series to watch them stock the market with apples. Let's see if we get a, uh, a run coming in here. They were coming in with like six or eight apples high. No, they're not going to do it this time. That must have been... Oh, there's there's six bales of of, uh, of hay, of edible hay rolling in here. There's our... our, uh, our uh, oh, what do you call someone who can... Uh, who can balance huge quantities, you know, a circus worker. Right there, that's that's where they are. So, dropping them in and immediately taking more off to their own homes. Neat. So, where are we? We were waiting for choppers. We are. So we don't have any idle workers. We don't. What else is being built? I'm not seeing any other construction. So, we don't have any jobs to free up over here. Wow. We need another house. Food. We're still in the twos. Let's go ahead and do it. Town. We will continue with cottages just yet. Is that a mistake? I think it is. That may need to be a road. Well, we could road right here. That's coming out. We could road right here. And we could tap at the back of this and come in. Yeah, okay. Town and cottage. Right there. But I need to get some free workers somehow. How are we going to do that? I would say we can shut down all of the uh, stockpiles for a little while. That should free up two each. Which I've got four of. 
Six of. Except there's only one worker in that one. Okay. That should free up enough to get all of these go going. What are our advisors hmm. up to right now? Um, They want me to tax more. Nope, not going to do it. All right. Two of four? Four of five. This one... Actually, there's quite a few uh, materials need to be brought over there yet. So these need to build. Let's kick the speed up a little bit here. I'm sure we have another attack coming soon. We haven't advanced in the size of our of our village that much. Wow. Yep, come on guys, put that out. So, I'm not guessing that the Viking attack is coming next is going to be that much more intense. Oh, church is on fire. Come on guys, put it out. That was an expensive building. Do we have a well out in this area? Let's turn the speed back down a bit. Town, well, we are covered for what we're doing right now. Am I missing anything? It's hard to tell when I'm holding it there. This is just barely covering it. Let's do that. Those are two important buildings. Let's make sure they've got... Uh, they're, they're well within range of the well. That is going to haunt me this whole episode, isn't it? House, cottage, ticking away pretty fast. Okay. I think it snows too much. It spends an awful lot of time white. Maybe we're in quite the northern uh, uh, part of the of the world. And that's why. Nope, oh, touch the side of the screen. So how are we doing here with our market? Let's see if I can find the market. Viking invasion. We're maxed. Charcoal and food. That's good. Vikings are coming out of... Ooh, and they brought their first ogre. Darn. This one's gonna hurt. Yeah. So we know next episode we've got to get Ballista Towers going. We have... We've hit a trigger. While they're doing their thing, what else was I working on before I wrap this episode up? We got... Oh, we were going to drop roads in over here. Okay. And they're just getting the chopping done. Okay, good. So we're going to send roads through here. Let's, we'll kind of watch them in the distance. And... Finish off these farms. We've got more storage in. We've got the market in. We've got enough gold to keep all of our archers employed. I'm not seeing anybody running off with villagers yet. So we're doing okay there. One fire only, and it's the well, so I would hope that we're in range of the well. And this guy is going to go tear up our quarry system, isn't he? Although we're already being nailed by arrows. I'm wondering if he's going to come in range of this one at all. So close. You're going to take out a quarry, which isn't that expensive to replace. The... Okay, I was going to say he's done already? He's going to go around. Where is he leaving? That might be our early warning. One tap just to say, beware, I'm coming back. You were a right there nothing else burnt the well did burn down all right do another one down well right in there and are we kind of done we're kind of done what are we focusing on we don't know just him left okay so let's get the last of these roads in so remember what we're doing next time you're going there and there, and that does give us, apparently, the uh, uh, the farms there. So let's drop those in. Farms right there. That takes care of that. Gives us access over here. Is there anything else that we talked about this time besides ballistas? Down at my list, ballistas market, two new college cottages, and the food to support them. 
We did. Whoa, I think I finished off my list. Minus ballistas. So ballistas, next time. Oh, what was that? It was a happy symbol there. Like someone just got cured of the plague, but... No, I didn't see anything. We do have quite low happiness, so let's go ahead and throw our first festival. There it is. With that, I think I'm going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.